Hello, I'm John Lewis with ACRO. I'm joined today by Michael Warner, Executive Director of the Alliance for Regenerative Medicine, or ARM. Welcome, Michael. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. And how about on the regulatory side? How is this? Uh, how are, how is regenerative medicine treated in terms of, of the FDA and other regulators globally? ARM has a very very productive working relationship with the FDA. One of the first things we did when we organized was we met with the commissioner and the heads of all the centers and the and the senior staff at the agency. And we talk to them about what they think the obstacles to commercialization of the technology is, as well as what we think they are. And then from there, we identified a few regulatory priorities that we both felt needed to be accomplished in order to smooth the pathway to market for commercial products. The FDA has made it clear so far that they think that their existing regulatory pathway for biologics or for drugs or devices uh, uh, pretty much can accommodate regenerative medicine therapies. We just want to make sure that um, the policies are tweaked in such a way to make sure that that is true and to fill in the gaps where the agency has said to us, you know, we could do a lot more if we had better scientific knowledge about X, Y, or Z, for example, then we've worked with them to try to make that, make that happen. You may, for instance, I guess, have less clinical trial data because this is not as it's 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 not as simple as as taking a pill, for instance, as, as you would for a normal pharmaceutical. Sure, I mean the the technology is more complicated than that, um, and to some extent is newer. But there is a lot of precedent, and there is a lot of technology that's, as I said, been on the market or in development. So it's not it's not so new that there's no experience with it. But for sure, there are additional challenges that um, haven't arisen before because of the developments in the technology. And those are the issues that we've worked together with FDA on so that we're coming at this from the same scientific perspective and the same scientific base of knowledge. And then we can develop regulatory policies based on that science that will ensure that the path to market is clear and is predictable and is as efficient as possible. Anything you'd like to add? Well, in addition to um, the regulatory side, we've also had some great conversations with um, CMS and private insurers. Of course, uh, uh, something that's got to be in place for these products to get to market is a reimbursement environment that's going to reward the kind of innovation that is going on now in our academic institutions and among our companies. So another piece of our national strategy is not just the regulatory piece, but it's also the reimbursement piece. And we need to make sure that we've got both of those um, in place going forward. If I would want to find more information about ARM, where would I where would I find that? Well, the best place is to look at our website, which is www.alliancerm.org, and we've got um, lots of information there, not only about ARM, but about regenerative medicine, uh, updates on clinical trials, an annual report about the invest investment in the field, so there have been a number of significant business deals that have happened over the last year or so, and we've cataloged all of those. So it's really a great opportunity to, to get a comprehensive view of, of what the field looks like. And for more information about ACRO, you can visit acrohealth.org and follow us on Twitter at acrohealth.